All right, what do you got? You got news right, for us. I have everything that we talked about earlier was that no electronic device of any sort shall be allowed in the courtroom unless proper request is made. You did make the proper request, which is right here. Uh -huh. And at the bottom, it says subject to rule uh, SJC 119, which we talked about. Then in here, where the judge has just highlighted it for me, it says only one stationary mechanically uh, silent video camera shall be used in the courtroom for broadcast television. A second mechanically silent video camera shall be used for other media. And in addition, one silent still camera uh, shall be used in court unless the judge otherwise permits. If you listen to the recording yesterday, he permitted you to have one camera, and that was it. So then what's the point of the signed order? It says it unless he permits. It has nothing to do with arbitrarily changing anything. It the Okay, well, that's great. That, that's fine. Could I please ask a um, question? But I'm just, hold on. I'm just trying to explain to you, okay, that... That's what was said yesterday in court. And if you want a copy of it, you can go to the clerk's office and get a copy of that. And it, it, was, it what? was my mistake yesterday for allowing all three of them in. It meaning what? The signed order? <laughs> no, it was my mistake. Wait, so and I'm admitting that okay. on your TV and whatever so you else. Yeah, you can go to the clerk's office and get a copy of that recording. But he said on there that you were allowed one. But why, why did he highlight, uh, why was an uh, area highlighted that has three items listed? Because it also says in that, highlight, in that highlighted item that if the judge permits, so in, in there, he didn't permit. So why wasn't that just highlighted? Why was yeah. all three devices highlighted? And then because if the judge permits, that's what it boils down to. So, but here's the thing. He's, he signed an order in the morning, and then on the bench, he was he was clarified. He clarified that order, I suppose. But this is after we have all of our equipment inside. No, and you had all your equipment in there. You didn't have you didn't have it in so an arbitrary And it was my it's mistake. It was my mistake. No, it's not magic. There's jurors in it. Okay. What does that have to do with cameras? You don't understand, and that's okay. What is that? I'm um, asking you what that has to do with cameras. Talk to a lawyer. I'm not going to explain to you the law because I actually. I, I, you're so right. I don't. I think your interpretation yesterday was correct. I think you correct. No, the judge on the um, no, no, record. No, no, we know. The judge on the record. Yeah. Well, wait, I think what Joe no, it says it says permits the judge right. to make a decision. Right, not excludes them. Permits, right. Yes. Not it establishes a minimum them. number, not, yep. not a restricted Permits clause. means he can allow more. If the judge excludes permits. Excludes means he can't. Okay, he can't well, that's what I'm telling you. So like as of today, more. all that's going to yeah. be in is your camera, your tripod, and your power cord. Because the judge is trying to uh, further restrict the, the amount of media that's in there. Yesterday, yesterday he highlighted an area that said three, no, including a still camera. And again, we're going back to you selectively no, choosing sh what sh you want. Sir, Do we have the document so back? The I got it, I got it. And you need to pay attention to what the recording says. Sir, yeah. okay. I'm talking about a piece of paper that was highlighted by, well, by the court. What he says on the record is also a judicial order. But it's, it's confusing. Can you understand why I'm confused? Absolutely. I do. Sir? I was confused, and that's why I allowed all three of them. Why do you think so, he's trying to, to restrict the cameras, though? Why? It's not up to me to interpret so, what the judge's order is. So, Kathy? No, if you're going to enforce it. I got an idea. Sir? No, I if you're going to enforce it, shouldn't you use discretion? You backed it all up with law. If you don't like it, you can talk to your local representative. What, 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 what he did is he highlighted it differently than he highlighted at first. The, the green piece that you read that was highlighted, yep. that was the order, what you read to us? The, the that, right? No, that was 119. SJC 119 is what they reference to right. allow cameras in the court. I understand, but that one part where where, where you said that. So, but how do I get a still camera in there in addition to a video camera? Because you didn't file for that. It's oh yes, I did. It's one or the other. Okay, he, he allowed you to have one camera. On the one or the other. Pick one. You want a still camera? Bring a still camera. The highlighted, you want the video the camera, highlighted text by the court there. yesterday had a still camera and a video camera permitted and an additional broadcast video uh, camera. If the judge permits. And he that's did. That's what he signed law. yesterday. Now he's he stated on the record after the fact. After the fact. Let me talk to the judge. Yep.